Best Scene from Caesar and Max by Susan Close. Exterior, interior, chicken bus, late afternoon. Mexican music blares in the driver's boombox. Caesar, Max, and SB board a colorfully decorated old school bus packed with students, day laborers, and housewives. Mucho local color. Caesar and SB share a seat while Max sits across the aisle. Max tries to get comfortable as a woman pushes past with grocery bags and a live chicken in a small cage. She pushes the caged chicken into the luggage rack above Max and takes a window seat beside him. A mustached, fat bus driver, 50, takes a seat and closes the door. The bus pulls out. It bounces down the city streets. I'm Caesar, and this is Max. I'm Espy. Espy. That's short for Esperanza. It means hope in English. You speak very good Spanish. Where are you from? Los Angeles. Your English is very good, too. What brings you here? We had some time off from school, so we thought we'd hit the road, explore the world a little bit. Later, the bus travels the barren landscape. Max feels something land on his head. He looks up. The chicken has crapped on his daughter's cap and is dripping down his cheek. Caesar and Espy laugh hysterically. Give me something to clean this up, asswipe. Espy fishes a napkin from her bag and hands it to Max. He wipes the side of his face. You miss some. Max wipes his face again, spreading the mess. Espy takes the napkin and cleans his face. It's good luck when a bird poops on you. And I hear it's a great zit treatment. Piss off, turd burglar. Max moves to a seat at the front of the bus. Later, Max looks back at Caesar and Espy as they chat and laugh. Later, bored, Max stares blankly at the scenery as the sun sets. He suddenly notices white smoke coming from the bus's engine compartment. He jumps from his seat and taps the fat bus driver on the shoulder. Senor, senor, smoke, huh? There's smoke coming from the engine. Caesar, tell him. Caesar runs to the front of the bus. Shit. Stop! Stop! The engine is overheating! Oh, shit. Exterior, chicken bus highway. The bus pulls to the side of the road. Passengers exit. Caesar grabs the fire extinguisher and rushes out. The fat bus driver opens the hood. A large puff of smoke bellows out and a small fire erupts. Caesar aims the extinguisher at the fire and pulls the handle. Nothing. Shit! Agua! Somebody get me agua! A passenger rushes to Caesar with a bottle of water. Caesar splashes water at the fire. Max runs up with another bottle of water and joins Caesar's efforts, pussyfooting to keep his distance. The bottle suddenly flies out of Max's hands and lands on the hot engine. The fat bus driver finally climbs up on the bumper, unzips his pants, and pisses on the fire. Extinguished. Max's water bottle is melted onto the engine. Later, passengers sit on the ground beside the highway. The fat bus driver attempts to make a cell call. Yes, highway two, about four kilometers. The call drops, and the fat bus driver bangs his cell phone in frustration. Fucking Telefonica Mexicana. It must be the Mexican AT&T. A taxi comes down the road and from the opposite direction. Max runs into the street and flags it down. The driver, Velo 30, a pretty boy, Diego Torres lookalike, stops. Caesar chases Max to the taxi. What are you doing? This is bullshit. I'm going home. How much to the next town? 500 pesos. Max pulls a wad of pesos from his pocket. No, Max, it shouldn't be long. We can't just leave these people here. Yeah, maybe you can't, but I can. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I've had enough. We're almost there. Get well, Fuck that. You'll never find your father. He abandoned you and your mom. He doesn't want to be found. And you're just a burden on your mom. She doesn't want you either. That's why you're always freeloading at my house. Oh, yeah. All your parents do is fight. They give you everything you want to get you out of their way. They enable you. Yes, you are enabled. I I'm surprised you could take a dump without mommy wiping your ass. Your parents are self-absorbed assholes. At least I have a mom and dad. I'm not a bastard like you. You're a loser like the rest of these sorry asses. Get Stay here with your people, Hernandez. You belong here. Max opens the rear car door. Caesar shoves Max. I am not a bastard. They get into a scuffle. Max's Dodger's cap falls into the dirt. He gets into the taxi without it. All you care about is your self-righteous, enabled, silver spoon up your ass self. Max flips Caesar the bird from the rear window as the taxi drives away. Caesar dusts off Max's baseball cap and plants it on his head. Adios, Mr. Ben Dejo. Caesar joins Espy and the stranded passengers. Interior, taxi, night. The taxi drives into the desert nothingness. Velo is on his cell phone. I have a gringo kid. I'm sure his mommy and daddy will want him back. Velo makes a turn onto the highway, away from the near-distant lights of the town. Senor, th th this is the wrong way. No, no, bueno. Oh, 
I want to go there. Baylor ends his call. The taxi speeds up. No, this is small cut. Short cut? No, senor. That way. This is good. Th this is this is not good. Stop the car. Let me out. No, I take you. No, stop. Stop the car. The taxi goes faster. A knot of dread fills Max's gut. Stop! What do you want? Money, money here. Here, take my money. Max takes out his wallet and throws money over the front seat at Velo. Stop! Stop! Alto! Max's wallet falls onto the floor. A siren wails and police lights strobe from behind. Shit. Exterior, desert highway, night. Caesar and Espy sit with the passengers beside the disabled bus. Aren't you worried about Max? He's a jerk. Yeah, I'm worried, but it was his stupid ass choice to leave. Where's our darn ride? Interior, exterior, taxi, desert highway. Velo takes off, faster. Max looks back to see a police car pursuing them. Max hits Velo repeatedly. Stop, stop, Alto, Alto! A large pickup truck with the wooden side panels is stopped in the middle of the road ahead. A leathery old ranchero, 60, in overalls and a straw hat, chases three pigs and a half a dozen piglets across the road. The taxi swerves to miss them. Hits several potholes beside the road and comes to a halt. Dust bellows everywhere. The Federales stop, get out, and approach the taxi. Max grabs his backpack, jumps out of the back seat, and runs to the Federales. Help me! Help me! He tried to kidnap me! Velo, you again. What is it this time? Velo shoes the oinking pigs towards the ranchero. The ranchero holds a wiggling piglet in his arms. Fucking pigs. My wife, she's, she's having a baby. He was kidnapping me. Arrest him. This pimple-faced kid wants us to arrest Velo? The Federales laugh. Federale number two takes Max's red backpack. She unzips it and dumps it into the dirt. Hey, that's my stuff! She takes the Superman boxers from the pile, holding it up for all to see. My four-year-old has the same ones, only without the skid marks. Federale number one points to the Viagra pills in the dirt. He pockets a few. Smuggling pecoroni pills? Those are for my dad. Please, I must get to my wife. Same excuse every time. You must have 15 kids by now. Get the hell out of here, Velo. Velo gets in his taxi and takes off. Are you letting him go just like that? The ranchero loads the last pig into the back of his truck and puts the wooden side panel in place. He takes off. Max gathers up the dusty pills and his backpack. You guys, give me a ride to the next town. Your taxi just left. Or was it your kidnapper? The Federales laugh as they get in their car. Three kilometers that way. Federale number two points in the opposite direction. They take off. Stranded, Max throws his backpack over his shoulder and steps in a big pile of poop. He throws a temper tantrum in the middle of the road. Mexico, I fucking hate you! Where's the fucking wall when I need it? Max walks down the desolate highway shrouded in twilight.